Hey guys, so recently I wore this look in a haul video and I'll link the haul video up here somewhere and so many of you said you wanted to see a tutorial on it. It is an everyday grey smoky eye and it is a look that I have been wearing constantly recently. Um, now I can't take credit for this look. I absolutely cannot because it's totally inspired by Christine of Pink So Foxy's Winter Grey Smoky Eye Tutorial and I will link that video down below in the description box and I'll also link to her channel. Um, I saw her Winter Grey Smoky Eye Tutorial and I absolutely fell in love with it and it was just a different way of kind of making a smoky eye. Um, it was just wonderful to see a smoky eye that you could wear during the day. It's really, I don't know, so many smoky eyes are like for clubbing and for night times and for going out and everything. And I just thought it was really nice to see somebody that did a smoky eye every day. And it was easy. So I've been wearing this ever since I saw her tutorial. And uh, yeah, so that's where the inspiration came from. Credit totally to Christine, because this was not my idea. But you guys wanted a tutorial, and I have used different products to the ones that Christine used. And uh, yeah, I've kept the same technique, but I've used lots of different products. So um, yeah, if you want to see how to do this everyday gray smoky eye, then keep watching. So I've already applied Urban Decay's Primer Potion in Eden. This is the kind of matte skin toned, light skin toned one. Um, I used a couple of different primers for this look originally, but I thought that was just the best one because it was matte and we we're using all mattes. So I am first of all going to take the Naked 2 palette. You don't have to have these exact things, of course. You could just use whatever you have. Um, I'm actually copying this from a tutorial, as I mentioned in the beginning. So um, I didn't have the uh, products that Christine used. so. I just used what I had, it really doesn't matter. So first of all, I'm gonna be taking the Naked 2 palette, I'm gonna be taking Foxy, this one on the end here. It is the um, very light cream color. And if I can find my brush, here it is right in front of me. I'm gonna be using that just on a fluffy brush. And I'm gonna put that all over my eye, right up to the brow. Now I am going to be taking a colour by Senna Cosmetics, and I mentioned them a lot because I really, really like their uh, makeup, their professional makeup, pretty much. Um, they were designed by uh, Eugenia Weston. I'll link them down below, and I'll link all the products that I've used as well in case you're interested. So this is a matte eyeshadow. It's called After Hours, and it is kind of like, it's kind of a grey, but it's got more of a blue tinge to it. Um, Christine used a grey, but I didn't have like a matte grey eyeshadow, so I thought, oh no. So I just improvised, and I found this, and it works really well, and it actually kind of gives more dimension to it than just a flat grey. So I'm going to take After Hours on a Sigma E55 shading brush, it's just a flat one, and I'm going to pack that all over the lid, apart from the inner corner where I've left it there. If you can see, it's a little bit of flesh colour peeking through, so I'm just going to leave that as it is. So I'm going to pack this on over the top of that foxy. Okay, so that is after hours all on. I'm now going to take a matte blending colour, and this is another center eyeshadow, it's actually called Blend, and it's just like a, just a skin tone colour, just a light skin tone colour, but of course, you know, if you're darker than me, paler than me, whatever, you can just use whatever you have, it really doesn't matter. I'm going to take that on a number seven blend and contour brush, it's a bit dirty, <laughs> excuse that, and I'm just going to hit straight above the after hours colour, just above the crease, just to create a nice blend there as the name suggests, because I don't want that to be a really harsh line. I'm just going to kind of feather that upwards. Just like so. Now for the liner, um, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Perversion. I've tried so many different liners with this look, and this one, I don't know why, I just didn't think it would smudge very well, but actually it's the best one for smudging. So I'm just going to take this and just do a very thin thin line to begin with. And I'm going to stop when I kind of get to the fleshy toned colour that we left. Just there, I don't want to go right the way into the inner corner. And we're going to smudge this out in a minute. So I line it all on, it's not perfect, it doesn't need to be because I'm going to blend it out. I'm going to blend it out with the 24-7 blending brush from Herb Decay. And I'm just going to just smudge it out just a little bit, just so that it's kind of smoky. Here's a shade from Urban Decay called Blackout that I have never had a use for before I discovered this look. So I'm going to use Blackout, it's a matte black, it's just, that's just it. And I'm just going to take it on a very small shader brush. You can see how many times I've done this look, because <laughs> it's black, 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 this brush. And then I'm just going to take some of the Blackout, and I'm going to work on covering up that eyeliner. 
and I'm going to work this black into the crease and over. You don't want to completely cover the after hours colour, the grey that we put on. You don't want to completely cover it. You want to leave a little bit peeking through in the centre. But you want to start kind of at the outer portion and just cover that sucker up. So that is the black on. As you can see, it's very, very severe. We're going to blend it out. Don't worry. I'm going to take a uh, Sedona Ice EB13 little sh blending brush, and I'm just going to knock over the top of that line there. That is my dog. He's asleep, and he's dreaming, and he's making silly noises. So ignore that. I don't know why he's doing that. It's quite funny. So I'm just going to kind of do this. Just a little bit. Then I'm going to take the After Hours colour. And I'm going to put that in the centre again, just to kind of make it a little bit more obvious. Because when you cover up shadow with black, obviously, it uh, kind of darkens it up a bit. So we're just going to put a bit of that in the centre. So that's pretty much the eyeshadow done, apart from the inner corner highlight colour, which is pretty simple. It's just a shimmery white. I happen to be using Booty Call from the Naked 2 palette. I'm just going to take that on a tiny little pencil brush. I think this is a, yeah, it's an E30 from Sigma. And I just put that in the inner corner and kind of push it upwards and it just, if you see, it just kind of makes the eye a little bit more awake because we have used a load of matte shadow here. Just like that. Then underneath the lower lash line, all I'm going to do is take an angle brush like this, go in with after hours and a bit of the blackout. Just like that. Now, for in the waterline, I don't want to use a black because it's just way too much. This is kind of like an everyday thing. I wear this, I've been wearing this every single day for ages. So I'm going to use a nude eyeliner. I'm going to use the new Rimmel Scandalized Waterproof Colca Gel in nude. It looks like this. This is fabulous. If you're after a good nude eyeliner for your waterline, go and get this. It's only $3.99. It's really, really cheap. So I'm just going to sling that in there. super creamy too. Okay, so that is that. Apart from mascara, I'm going to curl my eyelashes and I am going to apply the Maybelline One by One Volume Express Mascara because I love this. You could apply falsies as well because you could definitely wear this out at night, but I'm going to wear it during the day, so I'm just going to put mascara on and I'll be back to show the cheeks and the lips. Okay guys, so that is the finished eye. Let's get it a little bit closer so you can see. I really like it. I really, really like it. It's become one of my absolute favorite go-to looks. So for me to like have a look that I think I can just kind of pull off in, in the morning that actually has black eyeshadow in it is astounding because black eyeshadow usually scares the bejeebas out of me. Okay, so for contour, I've already contoured on, well, no, I've actually contoured. Right, I'll just show you what I contoured with then. Goodness. I used the NYC Smooth Skin uh, Bronzing Powder in Sunny. I just showed this in a recent haul. Looks like this. Put a little bit more on, why not? Really, really like it. Really like it. I think it's lovely. So that's that. Now, for my blush, I am going to use a Nat Origin uh, blush. This one is in Cyclamen. It looks like this. And, whoops, having trouble opening it. And it looks like this inside. It's a beautiful colour. It's really, really complementary to something that's like, like a, quite a dark eye. It just it goes really, really well. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that up the top here. Like so. Just a little bit. Just at the back of the cheekbone. And then for my highlight, I'm going to be using the Senna, again, Sheer Face Colour in Enlighten. This is so pretty. It's like a pink Kind of a kind of a shelly pink colour, and I'm going to use that on a uh, Sedona Lace 480 round top kabuki, just like so. Just on my cheekbone. And then for my lips, um, I'm actually just going to use a velvet matte lipstick again from Zena. Um, looks like this. A lot of people ask me about this when I wore this in my. Oh, I'm covered in mascara. Nice. A lot of people asked me about this when I wore it in my haul video and they asked me what it was and they said it was really pretty. It's just one of their velvet matte lipsticks and this one is in dusk. It's so pretty. So, I'm just going to put that on. And that 
is the finished look guys so i hope you enjoyed that it was requested by so many of you which is so nice i love it when you request looks because uh, it kind of makes me go back and think oh what did i use but with this look i've been doing this so often recently so i was quite pleased that you want to see a tutorial on it so um yeah i'll leave a list of the products that i used in the description box down below so if you missed anything it'll all be down there and uh yeah i hope you have a wonderful day guys and i'll see you all in my next video bye everyone